This new artificial intelligence tool can map and track giant icebergs from satellite images, allowing scientists to monitor them in real time. And when we apply it to several images of the same iceberg, we can see how the iceberg area shrinks and how this iceberg is breaking apart. Scientists at the UIT Arctic University of Norway are training the AI algorithm to accurately map the surface area and outlines of icebergs from space. Dr. Anne Brackman Fogman says the team uses images captured by satellites from the European Space Agency. So this um, new neural network is 10,000 times faster than humans can do this task and it maps the iceberg extent and the iceberg outline in less than a hundredth of a second, whereas humans would need several minutes to generate each of these outlines. The new tool provides more detailed information and allows scientists to move beyond current mapping services that often struggle to distinguish icebergs from other features in the images. While manual interpretation of satellite images remains more accurate, it is a time-intensive process. Given the importance of monitoring icebergs for maritime safety and scientific study, Brackman Fogman says the new AI system offers a more efficient alternative. Scientists will also be able to monitor the freshwater flux the addition or subtraction of water into the ocean as icebergs shrink or grow, an important aspect impacting the marine ecosystem. So what was really the bottleneck so far is that we needed manually outlines for the area change and now everything could be combined and we could also calculate the whole freshwater flux from icebergs automatically. Dr. Bablu Sinha from the UK's National Oceanography Centre says the study demonstrates machine learning's potential in real-time monitoring of remote and inaccessible areas. It's important to track icebergs in real-time. Um, for a lot of that's for operational reasons, so um, it affects shipping, it can be a danger to shipping. There are other hazards such as um, the icebergs can often scrape the bottom actually in coastal regions and uh, our submarine cables, our communication lines are often dependent on subsea cables, so...